Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back with the Boxing Bookie. We're going to show you how to make money on Barrios versus Ugas. This is easy money. This is a great fight to make money on. You almost can't lose on this fight if you follow me, right? I killed it last week with, 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 with Zhang and Richardson Hitchens and the week before that with Ramon Cardenas. If you're following me, you are making money. Uh, we're gonna show you. We're gonna keep that going this week. Lots of fights this week to make money on, and we're gonna show you how to do it. Kiss O'Leary too. Uh, we're just making money. It's something that we. It's something that we do, and that's something that I do. Again, I don't gamble, so I'm not making these bets. I, I'm gonna show you on a DraftKings size. You can't even use DraftKings in Texas, right? Uh, but I'm gonna show you how to make money on these fights. Uh, but follow me at three uh, three box three box and blog. Also follow me on Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds from that town go to. Uh, Autism Research and Recovery. That's Texas Boxing Scene on the YouTubes. Uh, check out that channel. Um, but let's get to this fight. Barrios and Ugas, let's chop it up. Um, this is a great fight to make money on. Um, I, because when I, I saw the odds, I was expecting Ugas to be a favorite in the fight. And I saw the odds, like, wow, they really like Ugas. And they're begging you to take Barrios. So take Barrios, because Barrios is going to win this fight. Um, you know, Ugas is a favorite because of what he did a long time ago, right? Like Ugas, I think is 37 now and Barrios is just peaking. He's 28. He's in a new camp. He's with Bob Santos. Now he had his first fight, um, uh, earlier uh, in the year. Um, what was it last year when, when, when he fought Santiago? Um, uh, was it, uh, but you know, he looked really good in that fight. He's got an eight round knockout. What was that? What exactly? That was February. That was early this year. I thought so. Uh, that was a really good performance. Uh, Santiago, you know, lost to Broner in a fight everyone knows he won. And then he got knocked out by Russell. And in six rounds, then he fought uh, Gary Russell, Antoine Russell. And then he fought Barrios. And Barrios beat him just as convincingly as Gary Antoine Russell. And Gary Antoine Russell is a guy that would also beat Ugas or he would beat Barrios. So it was a good performance, right? And I also think, and, and I haven't gotten a lot of this, right? Uh, I thought. Okay, so if you look at Spence's last performance against Crawford, it's not good. Spence is not what he used to be. So I would say two things. First, I would say uh, Barrios' performance was against Thurman. Barrios had four, far more moments, far more moments with um, Thurman than Ugas did with Spence. And Thurman's better than Spence. I said what I said. If they fought next, I would pick uh, Thurman to win. Said what I said. You may disagree with that. That's fine. But Barros did at least just as well with Thurman as, as Ugas did with Spence, right? He went the distance, so that's even better, right? He looked better as the fight went on, as Ugas looked worse. Ugas looked to fade. Uh, I thought Barros may have won the second half of that fight. He won the sixth. He won the eighth. He looked good in the tenth. He had moments in the eleventh, right? Um, he had far more moments. I guess I think a better fighter who's harder to hit. Um, and Ugas, I guess he's aging. When we talk about Ugas, he, he, we're talking about the Pacquiao fight. I think Pacquiao fight had more to do with Pacquiao being 100 years old, 44, whatever he was at that time, than it actually had to do with uh, with Ugas, right? Um, I, I, he aged a lot after that Pacquiao fight, and I want to I want to pull that up, right? So Ugas fought Pacquiao 2021. August of 2021. He's only fought once in the two years since then. That was the beat down to Spence, whereas I got so only got beat up. So he's a year and a half older than the Spence fight. He's now got the eye injury, which is important. Just like I said, it would be important for Joe Joyce, right? He's got to protect that now. That's going to swell up. He's taking a lot of damage, just like Joe Joyce has. So that's going to swell up. That, that's going to cause problems. Okay, so he's older. He's injury prone. He's got the eye, right? So lots of things working against Ugas, where Barrios is just getting better. He's peaking. He's hitting his prime. He's got a better camp that's more suited for me. We, we saw Bob Santos work with Carlos Adames, Hector Garcia, lots of fighters, lots of fighters, and, and, and he's turning them around. Um, the only fight before that 
was the Uga was the Pacquiao fight. Okay, look, he looked great in, 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 in Uga's fight against Pacquiao. Okay, I think that has more to do with Pacquiao. I'll show you why. Before that, he fought Abel Ramos, and that was a year. That was uh, the Pacquiao fight was summer of 2021. Some, summer of 2020, he fights Abel Ramos. He wins the fight, very competitive, doesn't look real good in it. Before that, he fought Mike Dallas. Uh, it was right before the pandemic started. That doesn't count. That's Mike Dallas. The last fight where he looked spectacular was Omar Figueroa. That was in J July of 2019. And before that, he fought Sean Porter. In fact, I thought Ugas won. And that was in March of 2019. So it's been four plus years since, I think, since Ugas has looked good against a guy who wasn't a thousand years old, where Barrios is peaking. So I'm going to pick Barrios. Barrios is a guy who, like I said, he's long, he's tall. Ugas will show up. If you can keep him at bay, you can get uh, Ugas to show up and not throw a lot of shots. So what, that's what Barrios has to do. He has to keep him at bay, use his reach, and just cause him to show up and then pour in the right hand. What Ugas will do is, at a distance, he'll start to swing wildly. When he does that, you just stay calm, you stay in the pocket, and hit him with the right hand. right? And I, and I think this is the key. And I, I think um, Virgil Hunter is not a good trainer for anyone not named Andre Ward. I think Bob Santos is, is, is much better. He's much better for Barrios, runs a better camp, and he's having better results. So I really think that the, everything is going right for Barrios, and everything is going wrong for Ugas. And you pull up the odds. And the odds are quite stammering. Like, I was shocked to see the odds. And I'm showing you right now how we're going to make money on this because this is a great one to make money on. I'm going to pull it up right now for y'all. Okay. On the money line, Barrios is paying $225. Harold Bet pays you $225. And here's the other, I'm taking that. Barrios to win by KO, which I think is very possible, is paying plus 800. So if Barrios wins by knockout, a $200 bet makes you $1,025. Now we're going to slightly hedge that, right? Because it could go the distance, right? But when Barrios wins, he typically wins by stoppage. Ever since he moved up to 140, he's been winning these fights by stoppage, except for the Akhmadov fight, which he's, he dropped him twice, okay? Every other fight since he's gone up to 140, he's won by stoppage. If it goes the distance, we take the over 10 and a half, just a hedge, and that pay, pays plus 235. So there's basically two outcomes as I see it. And this could still hit. He could knock him out. You know, in the eleventh, late in the eleventh or in the twelfth round, that could happen. But uh, let's assume it doesn't. If Barrios wins by knockout, let's say in the ninth round, you're going to win nine hundred and a thousand and twenty-five dollars, and you're going to lose a hundred on the over/under. So you can walk out with nine hundred and twenty-five dollars on a three hundred dollar bet. If he wins by decision, you're going to walk away with less, but you're still going to make a bunch of money on it. You're going to make two twenty-five. And 235. That's 435. You're gonna walk away with your initial 300 plus four. That's 725. Okay, you're gonna make 725. Your 300 back, and then an additional 425. All right, so you make 425 out of 300 bet. That's really good. If I'm wrong, and Ugas just wins by decision, because Ugas is not gonna knock him out. Let's be serious. Ugas is not gonna knock him out, and that's why I love this plus uh, 10 and the over under. On, on over going over on 10 and a half. If Ugas wins, you lose 200, but you make 235 because you'll lose Barrios and you'll lose Barrios by KO. So that's minus 200. But if it just goes the distance, you make your money back and then you make a little bit. You make $35, right? So you walk back with your money on being wrong. You still made money because it went the distance. Ugas is not winning this fight by knockout. So you can't lose. This is a home run. It's a safeguard. It's a great fight. If you want to bet even more on Barrios, go for it. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, on all forms of social media. Quick Hits comes at you every day.
uh, at the Boxing Book. He comes at you for every fight to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors and to walk you through these fights and show you how to bring down the house. Again, we don't gamble. Uh, it's not something that I do. But if you want to, if that's your thing, I'm going to show you. And I have did it with Ramon Cardenas two weeks ago. Last week I did it again with, with Zhang, Richard Hitchison, and Pierce hit on all three of them. That is like, I can't miss right now, guys. This is how you're going to make money. This is easy. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. It is September 25th, 20, 2023 from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.